Let's take a look at evaluating logs on HP Prime Graphing Calculator. Let's take a look at our first one, log 5. And um, if you're not already there, press your apps to make sure we're all in the same place. And then do enter on function. Then I press my home. I'm guessing this would probably work for any of the different functions uh, or different uh, apps. Um, that if you go to home, you can do this. But I'm not an expert in HP Prime. I'm trying to create these videos so that uh, if I had a student comes in with HP Prime, they can at least fumble their way through college algebra. Now, if you just have a log here and there's no base, it's by default 10, which is the log button we have here. So I press log, put 5 in, and press enter. And I'll round these two decimal places. That'd be 0 0.699. Now our second one is natural log of 7. This is base E. Well, we have an LN button, which is right here. So you do the LN. And then 7, and press enter. And that gives us 1.946. Had trouble on the last one. Had to redo this video, actually. I became confused. And <laughs> it's like I had to go and uh, redo it. I, I still don't know the correct answer. Um... One way we can do this, this is how I have my students do anyway, because I want to see that they know how to use the change of base formula, is we can rewrite this as log of something over log of something. And we'll put 6 up on top and 4 down below. Or you could do natural log and natural log, LN and LN. The way it goes is whatever follows log right here is what goes on top. And whatever your base is, this little number here, is what goes on the bottom. Other than that, you type in as you see it. So I'm going to do my um, log button. And my cursor is inside the parentheses, so press 6. Then I'll do my right arrow key to get out of the parentheses. And then I'll do divided by, log, and then I'll put 4 in. And press enter. And round to three decimal places. It would be 1.292. Now what I tried to do, and what I couldn't get it to work, I finally just had to use change of base um, on it, is if I go to my templates, click my templates there, I'll go down to logs, come over to here, and press enter on that. Then it's asking us for the base, so I'll put 4 in first, and then I'll write her over and I'll put 6 in, and then press enter. It does not give us the decimal approximation, it gives us the exact value which isn't what I wanted. Um, it shows you the setup really nice for change of base. Uh, instead of using log, like I said, you could do natural log of 6 over natural log of 4. So it's perfect for demonstrating that. And this is the exact answer, but I, I wanted an approximate answer. Most calculators, if you go into settings of some form, then you're going to see uh, where you can specify exact values or approximate values. But when I went into, I did a shift home. I'm showing this because just to help you get familiar with your calculator. When I went through here and looked at my, when I went and looked through here my different options, nowhere did I see an approximate or exact. So, well, it might be somebody else, somewhere else. Press home. Uh, I never have gone into info. Let's look at that. Shift info. Yeah, press shift info. Nothing there. Okay. Shift num. No, that's the table. Shift plot. Nothing. Shift symbol. Um, angle measure, number system, number format. Let's see what that is. Standard, fixed. Okay. Nothing there. Complex. Uh, nothing there. Okay. What else is there? There's user, copy, paste. User. I wonder what user is. Let's do shit or. Actually, I better exit out. So we do home. And I do shift, help. I think I pushed it, didn't I? Okay, shift, help. Okay, nothing there that I can see anyway. I could go into CAS, which. Let me go in there. Um, simplify, minimum. I 
maximum. Okay. Nothing there that I can see. Choose auto simplification level. Ooh, let's go back here. Do I choose? So nothing there. Hmm. Ah, polynomial is displayed as x plus x squared. Turn principal solutions. Oh, here's the exact answer. What's it say? Return exact symbolic results. Let me try and check that. And I'll go back to home. And if I just do an up arrow, I can go back to there and press enter. Okay. Well, never mind. That was a good uh, good attempt. Um, like I say, you can do it with a change of base. And if your college algebra instructor is anything like mine, um, or like me, um, then they'll probably require you to do this anyway. Uh, you hate to have technology do too much, and this demonstrates a, a knowledge, at least of the change of base. Anyway, that's evaluating logs on HP Prime Graphic Calculator.